This video is to show you how to take apart a Dell M1330MXPS laptop. Uh, this particular laptop has a faulty motherboard, so I will be completely disassembling to uh, replace that motherboard. If you're looking to reassemble this laptop, then I'll have a separate uh, video which you can see me doing that um, on my YouTube channel. Right, so to begin with, um, you want to pop the laptop upside down and you want to always remove the battery first so that we have no power um, at all going to the laptop. It saves damage uh, whilst you're removing its components. Um, next, you want to remove the two access panels uh, that we have here. Next you want to take out the hard drive, so that is the four screws that you can see here. Next you want to remove, start removing the screws on the board now. To get the motherboard out as well, so once we've got it upside down, um, you're going to need to remove the heatsink fan um, because the motherboard can't actually come out unless you uh, take this off first from inside the case. So you've got a screw here at the end and then you have four surrounding the CPU. CPU. Pop off the power connector from where it lived as well. Uh, no need to take the memory out, um, that's not going to cause us a problem. Um, what you'll find though is you have the wires that go towards the wireless card, so you simply want to just disconnect the red and sorry, the black and white wires so that they are no longer connected and just basically leave them like that, just hanging out and then pop the laptop back onto its front again. Now, open it up. And uh, what you'll find is, now that you've removed the screws, you'll be able to just pop off the top here. So there's a bit of pressure on this side, there we go. Don't um, don't pull it off too, because you'll have this wire here holding it in. Um, so just leave it to one side, and then you have the two screws holding the keyboard in. So you just need to remove those. This is the uh, only other device on the uh, laptop which has a different type of screw, so uh, you know where they go straight away. These silver flat screws. Now, when you get the lap the uh, keyboard, just lift it up like this and pull it forward, and you'll find that it uh, just slips out. And uh, what you want to do is just tip it up like this, and you can see this is where the wire, the ribbon wire, gets connected. And all you need to do 
let's flip up that little connector and this wire will just come out like that and then just stick the keyboard to one side. The next thing you want to do is remove the power button. Um, so you just need to flick up the two sides which are holding on the uh, wire and again just pull it out and um, just pop that to one side as well. Now pop that to one side as well. Now the next thing that we need to do is remove the screen. Um, so what you need to do is, um, this is the ribbon cable for the LCD display, so you want to just pop that up and uh, move it to one side, like so. Um, the next is the webcam connection, which is this one, so you just want to again, just pop that out and move it to one side. And then you have the Wi-Fi cables, which are on both sides. Um, so what you need to do is basically you've loosely you've disconnected them from underneath the laptop already. So you just want to basically just drag them through the hole, like so, and then just carefully unhitch them and uh, just leave them to one side. Now, um, what we need to do is uh, just take these side connectors off like this. They just literally pop off like that and uh, you'll be left with the screws for the screen. So in actual fact we are taking the screen off. This is two screws. Here. Again they're the same type of screw as you've been using already. And here. find is the screen just literally lifts up very very easily, no stress required. Let's pull that to one side as well. Okay, so now we're left with just the base of the laptop. Um, again, you're going to see the screws on the surface, so you just want to start removing the screws. Again, you're going to have the two different types, you have the larger screws and the smaller screws again. Again, you're going to have the two different types, you have the larger screws and the smaller screws again. No worries with regards to um, keeping them separate because they're all the same. Same small screws and same larger screws. Just um, again, um, just a, a very uh, crude map um, would be useful just so you remember um, where the screws go. Once you've removed the screws, um, you need to be very careful because the touchpad is still connected here. Um, so, as with the power buttons, um, you'll need to just flick up the two sides, either sides of the ribbon cable. And then you can just flick, flick the wire out, like so, and you're fine. And then you can go about actually lifting off the... the uh, the palm rest there, like so. Just pop them up to the side. Now we have access to the actual main board and components. So the next thing that you will be wanting to do is removing the slot DVD drive, just by removing the, the screws there. These are all going to be small, the standard small screws. Remove the screws. You can just pop the DVD drive out like so and just disconnect the SATA cable from behind like so. The next thing that you'll be wanting to take off is the PCMCIA slot here, this Express.
there's actually three screws um, holding this in. Uh, and to get to the third screw, uh, you'll actually need to take out the, um, the inside so that you can just stick the screwdriver in there. And then you'll find it's uh, connected here, so just, just pop it off like that. The next thing you need to do is uh, remove the screws for the motherboard. Now, in actual fact, there is only three, um, and they are located uh, here. you have the one here which is connected to the Wi-Fi switches so just um, pop that out and then you have the power button switch here uh, this is one of the ones where you just need to flick up the, uh, the sides there and just pop it out like so and then you have the uh, connections here as well um, one of them is not actually used, it's just uh, Bluetooth. You may actually have Bluetooth in your M1330, but this particular one doesn't. So I'm just going to pop that out and pop it And this bit is from here. So just disconnect that like so. And now what you'll find is that the laptop itself has uh, become uh, loose. Um, just um, this part here is actually detachable, so just bear in mind that when you're lifting that off, it's going to pull out the socket. Um, you'll need to um, just put some, a little bit of pressure on the front of the case here because the sound sockets um, are going to uh, hold in place the, the, the motherboard there. So you just need to move it forward a tad and uh, you'll find that it will just pop out there. Uh, and then just uh, very, very carefully remove it. Oh, that's caught on something that we have. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the BIOS battery in actual fact. I'm just going to pop this round. And we can see that the BIOS battery is sitting there, so we just need to disconnect that battery. And then there's the motherboard there. And that is how you disassemble the M1330 laptop.